Welcome to Breaking High School News. It's Friday the 28th of January. Good morning. The latest English department creative writing competition closes today, so make sure to hand in your Scotland themed entries if you haven't already. If you have enjoyed this competition, then check out Young Scots Writer of the Year. This national competition is run by the Scottish Book Trust and is open to 11 to 18 year olds. Writing should be in Scots, whether you write a story, poem, play, song or make a short video. Full details are on the Scottish Book Trust website, link in the built-in classroom. A reminder that if you have achieved something, whether in school or beyond, we think that your efforts should be celebrated. Whatever your achievements, academic, sporting, creative or anything else, let your mentor teacher know so that we can give you the shout out you deserve. If you're an S3 or S4 and interested in pursuing a career based in science, technology, engineering and maths, then the Engineering Development Trust are running an online course, Roots into STEM. Pupils will learn all about college, university, apprenticeships and careers in STEM from the experts. The course also includes a selection of tailor-made STEM projects and activities. Please contact your PCS teacher if you're interested. Full details in the built-in classroom. Did you know that just one aero engine is made up of around 30,000 parts? As part of the procurement teams at Rolls-Royce, you would help manage the supply of these parts along with anything else that the business might need. From IT to training services, to new buildings, to catering services, to consumables. The procurement teams negotiate, buy and manage it all. This apprenticeship will give you the chance to build a procurement career in the environment where you can be yourself and be your best. Next, it's time for Club Roundup. Lunchtime sports, Monday, netball shooting. Tuesday, table tennis and indoor fives. Thursday, dodgeball and badminton. After school sports, Tuesday, rugby and junior netball. Wednesday, climbing and senior netball. Thursday, indoor football. Friday, girls football and rugby, Strathmore Trust. Library clubs, Monday, comic club and mindfulness colouring. Tuesday, craft club. Wednesday, shape challenge. Thursday, book club. The Wee Hub, S1 and S2, 1.30 to 2.10. Monday, Mindfulness Monday with Mrs Christie. Tuesday, Board Games with Mr Kingsmill and Mrs Simon. Wednesday, Midweek Movie with Mrs Rob. Thursday, Arts and Crafts with Mrs Barnes. Lego Club, Tuesday Lunchtime in L7. Ukulele Club, Tuesday Lunchtime G10 in the Music Department. Creative Writing, Wednesday Lunchtime in T2. Drama Club, Thursday Lunchtime in the Theatre. Yesterday was Holocaust Memorial Day, a day to reflect on the tragic deaths of millions of innocent people at the hands of the Nazis over 80 years ago. The date, 27th of January, was chosen because it was on that day in 1945 that Auschwitz was liberated by Soviet Red Army. There follows a short presentation from school captains Abby Reed and Anna Graham who have taken part in the lessons from Auschwitz Project this year. Abby and myself signed up to the Lessons from Auschwitz through the Holocaust Educational Trust. We took part in various online seminars and discussed what we learnt with online focus groups. We learned about the importance of individuals within the Holocaust and how important it is to understand that every single victim of the Holocaust had a different experience. The next video helps us emphasise the individual experiences during the Holocaust. When we were taking part in the lessons from Auschwitz, we were challenged to take steps to help raise awareness and educate people about the Holocaust and how it affected the victims, which is shown in our Next Steps project. We both worked together to create an information board which shows the impact of the Holocaust on all victims, not only the Jewish, but also the Nazi victims, such as the train drivers or Nazi soldiers who were forced to participate in the mass murder. Pre-COVID, pupils would have taken part in the lessons from Auschwitz, had the opportunity to travel to Auschwitz in Poland and experience one of the places where so many victims lost their lives during the Holocaust. Unfortunately, due to COVID, we didn't get the opportunity to experience this. However, Mr Kelly has shared a few pictures of his experience with us. The Nazis targeted hundreds of thousands of people who didn't fit into their vision. You can't go to the police station and say that you've been robbed because you're a person without rights.
we had to fight for our lives. I couldn't speak for 50 years. I was... I wanted to forget. 